Hello, 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 everybody here is Dr. Wild again talking about different topics and science. Remember guys that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hmr.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wild which topics do we have? Research, community, education, care delivery, hours, and achievement. The article to review today is the new black bag. Many are flume over how to improve healthcare delivery, but for some doctors, the answer is clear, meet patients where they are. Okay, I start. It is a sweltering in summer morning outside Dallas and the doctor but were heavy as a physician stands off the porch, waiting for the door to open when it does, she greeted with a wide smile from her three young patients and their brother. They welcomed her inside and her glass of water and cleared places of the table. Over the next two hours, the pediatrician checked the children's vitals, took physical exams and write any necessary prescription. She cashed out with the family to listen, listening instantly to the details of their lives and plan for the coming school year when she departs and goodbyes are like those to an old friend. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind you guys that we most these days are doing these beautiful reviews. I continue. Today, such a scenario seems quiet, but for Tonya McDonald's 98, it's a business as usual. This past spring, she opened Radiant Pediatrics and a direct primary care practice that provides in some and virtual pediatric care to families who pay a flat monthly fee. For this fee, families get extended visits, same and next day appointments, telemedicine visits, and direct access to McDonald's through phone, text, and email. Even as physicians like McDonald and Fred Paul find themselves to the forefront as involved in file, they acknowledge that much of transformation in primary care is being driven by patients themselves. This fight with long waits, short appointments, and inadequate access to physician patients are aborting for their feet, with increasingly moving their care and models that prioritize wellness, relationship, and continuity. Giving patients a voice and listening to that voice might seem faddish, but for some physicians, this has been a norm for decades. It's an approach that James Connell in learned early in his career working with Boston homeless population. At the first doctor for the non-profit Boston Healthcare for the Homeless program, O'Connell quickly discovered that many of the qualities he had thought to value, like speed and efficiency, have to be tossed out the window to gain the patients' trust and respect. O'Connell needs to meet them where they trash, usually literally and establish solid relationships. This population hates people like me who were there to do good things for a year and move on, he said they want what we are all look at doctor, so want to for our relationship with all our time. Nearly four decades later, O'Connell said his patients continue to drive the conversation about what primary care means, whether the being on call for late night visits on the street or ensuring continuity for service after a patient receives housing. For the men or women, O'Connell said these are need more of relative or living on the street. In some way, those need mirror of short falls of primary care as a whole.
The homeless population will show the weakness and the traditional care system without even trying. He said they continue to teach us how we have been doing things wrong. Giving patients a safe care delivery is also integral to Sonia Sweet's work in Navajo Nation, she 98, in a Harvard Medical School Associate Professor of Medicine at Brigham and Women's Hospital and the Director of the Community Outreach and Patient Empowerment, which is part of the joint tribal Indian health service effort to address health disability at the Navajo Nation. In the DK since the inception, COP has a strained relationship between physicians and community health representatives who are public health workers and members of the Navajo Nation community. COP has also created a deep approach to primary care of his patients, many of whom live in poverty and have diagnosis of chronic conditions such as diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Address this disconnected child and her colleagues at home began mapping the court process, implementing electronic health records to refill and CHR documentation and creating teaching materials to train physicians and CHR to work together for patients. The approach has paid off a 2017 study published in the BMC Public Health Phone that more than 80% of the CHR left strongly that COPE training were useful, while nearly 45% believe that communication and teamwork has improved because of code initiative what more early data suggests that enhanced interaction between clinicians and CHR might link it to better outcomes in patients including improved like profiles and the A1C values that primary care is the best platform for fixing healthcare as a whole because it's closest to the consumer, he says. We want to help patients upstream by encouraging them to eat better and exercise and downstream by helping them navigate choosing a specialist. When you flip the model, primary care now becomes the center of the healthcare system. Access to a specialist is getting a makeover too. Traditionally accomplished through referrals and memory and lengthy wait time, seeing a specialist can be thrown with frustration. Physicians don't have the capacity to see hundreds of patients a day, but you can streamline that process by having patient coordinators work with patients to review their records and help them win out their concert to just five questions. Say no. By paying a specialist for the time directly, the company move a consumer for the front of the line, giving them the opportunity to gain medical insights quickly. Getting a specialist to weigh in on complicated crises can be really helpful for patients and community doctor, she said. We have been cases where you especially have people for better treatment for hold or help than access clinical trials. When people live on the streets, they are up, suggesting their health care needs on simple trying to start a life, O'Connell says. They come of the emergency department when they are sick. If they want to provide ongoing care chronic diseases, we need to go with them. Our health partners with companies to make its service available to employees. Medicare Advantage patients also make up to a large portion of this population, but it began as essentially a direct care model in which people pay about $40 a month for team primary care service. The current healthcare system is all about transactions, but when did transaction ever help people? Say Fernando, we want to stop the methods of fixed service reform and the games to go that with that.
Radiance Pediatric is also a direct care model but one of the insurance altogether. McDonald does, however, encourage parents to carry some form of coverage such as a catastrophe insurance, family pay per child monthly fee ranging from $75 to $125 depending on the age and number of children. It is rational over the long term if parents are self-employed and their kids have chronic health issues. Alright guys, remember you can also download this beautiful article from the magazine of Harvard Medical School. The title is The New Black Bag and this article is posed at the Harvard School and also has been published by Serrani in the Massachusetts Best Grider. Have a beautiful day everybody. Bye bye.